Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about uh, something I've seen recently with Chia. Uh, nothing bad, but just something I want you to be aware of. Um, so basically right now we're looking on screen at Chia version 1.61. That is the latest version as of time of recording. Um, I'm having some issues, but I think it's more or less local or something corrupt. You'll see in the upper left and over here on the left side, you see that flickering. The wallet connects, doesn't connect, connects, doesn't connect. And I can see that as well in the full node. Sometimes it goes from sinking to not sinking. Uh, and we did have Storm or Hurricane Nicole come by. So I did have to power down something, uh, the system. But before I did that, everything was sinking. Everything was fine. And more importantly, I could see my plots. But now I'm having issues. But again, it may not be the Chia wallet. It may be something corrupt with my system or with my setup. So I have to figure out figure that out at a different uh, time. But you can see if I add plot di directory, everything is there. It's just not picking up. Refresh plot, still not picking up. Obviously we want the full node to actually finish syncing, um, but I need to figure out what exactly is going on. But that's not the main point of this. 1.61 is the latest version of Chia Wallet, but before that was obviously 1.60. 1.60 though had a concern in it that I talked to Yeti about um, and that was the amount of packets being sent out. If you look here on this chart, yellow is representing the downloads, while orange or red, if I move out of your way, is the uploads. And you can see this mountain of uploads. That mountain of uploads was actually uh, being caused by Chia 1.60, which is very odd to me. So November 1st, the evening of November 1st, going into November 2nd, I decided to upload to 1.60 Chia Wallet. And I did that, and then you can see the uploads start to pick up. At the peak, we see almost seven gigabytes of uploads. So the second seven gigabytes of data going out. Now I understand uh, with mining and farming and all that stuff, you're connecting to your peers. But if we go back here to some of the original wallets, you can see the uploads were only 161. We range from 100 megabytes to maybe 200 megabytes at the most uh, in uploads, while the downloads, you know, stayed around 5.7, six gigabytes because this device is used for other uh, you know, resources. So nothing too suspicious there, but what caught my attention was why is there so many, so much data, so many packets uh, leaving, right? And so I got to pe uh, peeking and, and looking at it and I was like, wow, start full node, sent out 6.8 gigabytes. And what's very interesting is the amount of connections, right? If we go back here, uh, to some of these while well, it start full node 78 connections we scroll down start farmer two connections all right let's look again for the back start full node 40 connections uh, start farmer two connections all right let's get a little closer to uh, November or the the date that we updated the wallet start full node 111 connections all right only 86 megabytes up start farmer uh, two connections and then we get to this date and boom we, we see we got 551 nodes or 551 hosts that we're connected to and we sent seven gigabytes of data. That's a lot, guys. That's a lot, ladies and gentlemen. I don't understand why. I, again, it may not be nefarious. It could have been a, a glitch in the 1.60 wallet uh, that the devs caught and then maybe shut it down server side because you could see it start to drop and drop and drop and drop. So maybe it was caught server side. Um, maybe it was a nefarious actor. Maybe it was just accidental code, uh, you know, uh, incorrectly, uh, coded application or program, but either way it was caught and 1.61 came out, uh, only two days after I just didn't update it to four days after, cause I wanted to get more data and show this to Yeti. So we, we had some concerns and we started looking nothing too crazy. And you can see here on the firewall, if we go to, uh, this program. You know, we can block it. We can see the IP that we're connected to in Sweden. And we could also see there's a virus total score. Now, virus total score, don't take it like as Bible or, or the law. Um, but typically, good programs would be represented in green or like a like little bit of yellow, like the bars halfway. Bad programs typically represented by a very low rating, you know, 1 of 68. But that doesn't mean that the Geo wallet's bad. If we look at CC Cleaner, it's the same way right it's just got a bad score compared to others and if we go to the little eye next to it and click analyze or see details we can see additional information 
So the Chia wallet has this. Everything else is good. Everything else is, is undetected and clear. But Zillia, uh, which is a Trojan, has been detected. But that doesn't mean that the Chia wallet itself is compromised. It could just be that it has a bad rating. Kind of like DNS, right? If you're on a shared server and, and, and you're shared hosting, shared email, and one bad actor sends out a bunch of spam, starts you know uh, spamming everybody, you get the server gets blacklisted you're on that blacklist and now you're you you can't get off of it some blacklist websites or or uh, organizations will allow you to request the, the removal for free while some will make you pay for it so it, it could be something similar to that where you know chia or the program has to request removal from this um or just get a better score over time you can see everything else is fine it's just this one's bad. And then if we look at what's minor uh, program, the what's minor tool, it's got an even worse score. So it, it could be that it's not nefarious whatsoever. It's just it was a concern to me to see that much upload, that much data going out and that many connections at one time. Uh, and I monitor things not only with Glasswire, which I urge you to install, especially if you're doing any spec mining, spe speculative uh, cryptocurrency mining. Uh, but also, you know, keep an eye on your wall, uh, your your router and stuff like that. But I just wanted to share this with you. The latest version of Chia right now is, as I mentioned, 1.61. Make sure you always stay up to date. But at the same time, while you're updating your wallets or being on the latest, make sure you keep an eye on your network, your network traffic activity. Look for anything suspicious that might stick out to you and shut it down. Now, Glasswire is free, but uh, it does offer the paid option. But you can see with this program, I can go ahead and go to the firewall and block this app. So if I see something suspicious shut that down right there or i could shut it down at the router level but again nothing on chia not saying that the 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 chia wallet is bad it, you know with these newer programs newer applications newer stuff usually has a bad score uh for quite a while before they they start to get a better score but just want to share that bit of information with you let me know your thoughts down in the comments below uh i'll have to fix my chia wallet acting a full uh off camera and off screen uh later on but uh that's gonna do it for today's video yeah Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit notification bell to stay up to date. So let's check out links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And I shall catch you in the next one. Take care.